Hey, this is Daniel from Manorama. I'm here in my studio in New York City with Erica, and we're making some portraits. So today we're gonna to use hard light to make portraits. Oftentimes people use soft light for portraits, but hard light can also be a great tool. So hard light is defined as a small source that will create very abrupt and sudden shadows. This gives you a hard edge to the shadow, thus the term hard light. For this first shot, we're gonna use a beauty dish. I'm actually backing it up pretty far, so remember size is always relative to the subject. So when I back my beauty dish up, it becomes smaller, thus harder. So I decided to put a grid on the beauty dish because with the white studio, light was bouncing everywhere and my shadow wasn't getting nearly as dark as I wanted. So I've got my Sony A9 here on a tripod and I've got the 24 to 70 lens on it so I can frame up a nice shot of a full length for her and also punch in if we want. I'm shooting at f8 to give me myself enough depth of field and uh, we're just shooting a series of different poses showcasing both the shape of her body and the shadows on the wall. Okay, so for the second shot, I decided to use the basic seven inch reflector that comes with most strobes. And I put a black background behind Erica. We're gonna focus on the shadows on her face. We're creating shadows across her nose and across her cheekbones to create lots of shape in this portrait. So even though soft lights are the most common light source to use for portraits, using hard light can be really interesting depending on your subject and the look you're going for. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV, and I'll see you next time on set.